Well, the main uh, difference in uh, uh, approach, I think, is between the performing arts and visual arts. We have never been trained to work with people in the first place, which means in the performing arts, even within the crew or within the ensemble, uh, you have to develop techniques how to work with people, which doesn't happen in the domain of visual arts, which means that the competencies of participation management are really lower. That doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that uh, we will be dilettantes, you know, for uh, a lifetime, but it does for me uh, it's important for me because uh, I'm very reserved towards contemporary, let's say, fashion of participation. Um, that's the first difference, the skills. Then the second one is, I think, the participatory element, I think, is very valuable, fruitful for all the parties involved, from the funder, <laughs> let's say from the funders to the end participants, uh, very fruitful, but they don't necessarily lead to a high quality artwork per se. So it depends from, let's say, case by case, what is your agenda and what is your motivation and what is your um, priority, okay? Because in one case you can act in this way, in others maybe you prefer something else. So it's not even bound to an artist who always works in the same method or something, or a producer. So from case to case I would say that um, if the agenda is not producing let's say, an artwork that by itself could, if you would be really thorough and uh, bound to different, let's say, uh, criteria that would lead to, a, let's say, a, then this kind of artwork, at the end, if you would be really thorough, that could undermine your good intentions in the beginning. This is what I really like and I prefer, and this rarely, very rarely happens, because the motivations of doing good for the people and being very careful or politically correct with the participants or with the funders uh, is usually prioritized, you know. So I'm, I think this is maybe a, a paradox.